Let's go ahead and turn that fan on in the manual position. So up is manual override, down controls it like original from the thermostat. Today we're going to talk about how I've added a little round rocker switch to the basement fan of my Arctic Fox truck camber. This happens to be a 992 model. That switch is going to give me the ability to turn this fan on by itself as opposed to having it controlled by the furnace like it is when it's wired from the factory. With this particular switch I can also have it set up to be run by the thermostat as well. And what I mean by have it run by the thermostat is the way they're originally wired, the fan kicks in when the furnace kicks on. And then after the furnace shuts off, the fan shuts off. So this is the step up into the cab over bed. Right up here, there's a small drywall screw that's uh, kind of hidden in the carpet. So I found that screw, loosened it, and then the carpet kind of acts as a hinge to open up that little step compartment area. Now, a lot of people might wonder, why would you want to run this basement fan independently of the furnace or independently of the thermostat. Common instances when you would want to do that is if you're in camped in extremely cold climates, it's actually a good idea to keep that fan running all the time so that there's always air circulation through the basement area, which is all the, where all of the water storage tanks are. Another time is if you're also camped in cold climates but you're not using the propane furnace for heat, if you're using a couple of electric space heaters, like when you're in an RV park or whatnot, that's another good time you would want the van to run all the time. Northwood Manufacturing has used two different styles of thermostats during the time that they've been building truck campers. Any truck camper built within the last several years, probably the last three or four years, is likely going to have a digital thermostat. On the models that have a digital thermostat, the thermostat controls the heat and the AC. On earlier models, the thermostat only controlled the heat. So what a lot of people have done on the heat only thermostat is they've replaced it for a digital thermostat, which usually has a manual mode to control the fan. Using that style of thermostat, you can wire the basement fan to that switch on the thermostat. So the thermostat gives you the ability to turn the fan on and off via a manual mode. On the newer truck campers that already have a digital thermostat, which is going to be the style that controls the heat and the AC, then it becomes a little bit of a different project to be able to control the basement fan manually. So that's what my truck camper has, is the digital thermostat that controls the heat and the AC. So I am not dealing with the thermostat to control my basement fan manually. What I've done here, and I'll describe that, is I'm using a separate switch to control the basement fan. But I also have that switch set up so that the thermostat, when it calls for heat, it will also still run the basement fan. So I can have my basement fan running the way it was originally wired, where the furnace controls it, or manually by turning on this uh, little rocker switch that I installed. In the 992, the thermostat is located right above that step. And once you open up that step, down here at the bottom, there's a hole in the wall, and that's where the thermostat wiring comes through. It comes through right there. So we're looking down into this step area from the perspective of if you were sitting in the cab over bed looking down. So right here is the fan. And if we look over here on the wall, you can see the hole where the wiring for the thermostat comes out. So in my case, the black wire that comes out of this hole is connected to the positive wire of the fan. And then the black wire from the fan is the negative and that bundles in with a bunch of white wires that are bundled together for a negative bus. So this little circuit breaker over here, that's where I've picked up 12 volt power, but I'll talk about that later. This circuit breaker is what intercepts the battery charging coming from the truck. And this little bundle right here, that's what that goes to. 
And what I have done, because I've a bunch of other upgrades I've done, and I didn't want my charging coming through this, so I disconnected the charging line from the truck pigtail from that circuit breaker. But I still have battery power connected to the other side of the circuit breaker. So this will all make sense in a little bit. So my switch is mounted right here next to the fan. What I have also done is disconnected my fan positive wire from this black wire. And I think what I need to do now is talk a little bit about the switch. This is actually just a simple on-off switch, but it's got three terminals on it. A on-off on switch would be the same by having three terminals on the back, but it would have an up position which was on, it would have another on position which would be down, and then it would have an intermediate position which would be off. I'm just using this switch to show you an example of how I have mine wired, which is an on-off on switch. So normally how a on-off on switch is meant to be used is you would have it control two different accessories by having power come into the center terminal, output to one accessory to the bottom terminal, output to another accessory to the top terminal. I have actually reversed the operation of the switch by having power from one source coming in here, power from another source coming in here, and then the output to my accessory goes here. So the black wire from the thermostat is connected to one leg of the switch. 12 volt power direct from that circuit breaker is connected to another leg of the switch and the output power to the fan goes right there to the middle. So if I have the switch in the up position, the way I have mine wired anyway, that runs the fan all the time. So power is going to come in from my circuit breaker, go out the switch to the fan. Now if I switch the switch in the down position, then the fan will operate like it originally did by being controlled only when the furnace turns on. So I'll give you a quick rundown of how I have this wired. I extended the black wire that comes out of the wall and connected that to one leg of the switch. And that's where the hot wire or the red wire from the fan was originally hooked up. And then the red wire on the fan, I also extended that and then hooked it up to another leg of the switch. And then I also took a small fused wire, hook that up to the other leg of the switch, and then that picks up 12 volt power from right here, the circuit breaker. Let's go ahead and turn that fan on in the manual position. So up is manual override, down controls it like original from the thermostat. So times that you would want to have the ability to control this fan by itself is if you were camped in a pretty extremely cold weather you would want air circulating through the basement all the time even when the furnace is not running another time would be if you were camped at an RV park in cold weather typically how I do that when I'm camped in an RV park is I'll save my propane and I'll run the small electric space heater so if you're doing that type of camping, RV park, cold weather, running a space heater, it's another good time to run the basement fan independent of the furnace because of course the furnace wouldn't be running if you're using an electric space heater. Here's a wiring diagram that shows how I have the fan wired with my new switch for my Arctic Fox 992 truck camper. On an 811 990, 996, 1140, and 1150. You could do this similar, but you wouldn't have the circuit breaker. And here's a wiring diagram that shows how it would be wired in those other models.